What's up, everybody? So today, we're going to be checking codes. Now, this process is mainly for cars that have OVD1. If you have OVD2, just use the scanner. Uh, the port is on the driver's side, at least for Hondas it is. Um, and if you have one, just go ahead and plug it in and it's going to read you the codes. If not, go ahead and borrow one from AutoZone O'Reilly's and it'll do the job for you. But if you have an OVD1 ECU, in my case here, uh, this is what you have to do. So let me go ahead and show you guys. We have ECU here, so you guys can tell ECU here. This is a P06, P06 is, um, it's for the single cam, <clears throat> it's for non-VTEC. Um, you guys have probably heard of P28, that's the same thing, but for VTEC though. You have your jumper harness here, and then you go ahead and look up, and you should have a connector, it's a blue connector. Um, this little green cover here, just go ahead and remove it off. And that right there is an SES connector. Um, not too sure what it stands for. I think it's service, something, signal, something. I'm not sure. But anyways, has a black and brown cable, in case you're curious. Uh, it just has two pins in here. As you can see, with just one, two, that's it. One, and then the other one right there, two. Now just go ahead and grab a safety pin. Um, this is like a small size. I went ahead and grabbed the junior size here, and I cut off the tips, with some pliers or something, whatever you have handy, um, and just leave them flat here. That way they're not sharp. Now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and grab our safety pin and we're going to jump the connector. You're going to create a loop here. So just closing it off. So let me go ahead and position the camera for you guys. That way you guys can see how I do it. Before you enter the pin, you're going to want to head and turn on your ignition. Perfect. Notice how there's nothing on the on the dash right now. No check engine line, no nothing. So your pin here, I compressed it. So now your connector. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just... Uh, insert the safety pin in there just like that that's it now the connector is completely looped let's close off one side of the pin on each side of the actual pins of the connector so now that that's in place check this out the dash has the check engine light on it's, it's just staying on so like i was telling you check engine light is on so that's good it's solid it's not blinking it's not moving it's not flickering nothing at all now i'm pretty sure you guys would want to see how it looks like when you have a sensor that's bad therefore you would have a code that's showing up or or physically like on the car the car would run like complete garbage it would sputter choke whatever um so let's go ahead and open the hood to sabotage a sensor so let's do that real quick okay so everything's good here Okay, we're here at the engine bay. Uh, for simplicity, let's see. Uh, and I know Hans don't like when the TPS is all bad. Um, so let's just take that one apart. Okay. Okay, so pain is disconnected. Let's go ahead and see here. Okay, everything's good so far. Car should start, but it's gonna run like crap right now. <laughs> or it wouldn't even want to start. Yeah, I knew it. Get one more go. Yeah. So that should already bring up a code. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the key out, put the pin back. This part's gonna blow your mind, watch. The computer should have registered a problem already, so let's see. Okay, so the pin is back. As you guys saw, I disconnected the TPS. Um, the connector over here, it's jumped, you know, there's a loop. So right now that I entered the key, the dashboard is going to throw me the check engine light but not how it did earlier. Earlier did it with a solid light and that was because everything was perfect. In this case, the TPS, the ECU, it's reading uh, that the TPS, there's something wrong with it. It could be multiple reasons. In this case, it's just disconnected. So on the dashboard here, the check engine light is going to blink. It's gonna be interval blinks. It's gonna be in a series of long flashes and a series of quick flashes. So however many times the long flashes, um, it blinks, that's your first number for the code. And then however many times the check engine light blinks uh, in, in a series of fast flashes, that's your second number for the code. So if you get, let's say four long flashes like that, that's gonna be the number four. If you get a series of fast flashes, let's just say five, boom, 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 boom. That's 45, your number is 45. So the code is 45. 
So what code is that? You'd have to go look at that on the internet, see what the codes for Honda and Acura's are and whatever 45 is. It could be anywhere from a sensor, um, any sensor in the car. So let's just see here what uh, this car is gonna give us. Obviously we know it's TPS, so I'm expecting something uh, that lines up with Honda and Acura codes for TPS, so let's see. So the key's gonna go in. It's gonna start giving us the code uh, once the fuel pump primes. So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it gave us seven quick flashes. So it there's no long flashes. So remember the quick flashes is the second series of interval flashes. So in this case, I have zero flashes for long and then I have seven flashes for the quick one. So let's see again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you see no long flashes, zero. And then quick flashes, that's already three, four, five, six, seven, and then it pauses. Oh, that was a bit earlier there. And then again, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my number is seven. So literally the code is going to be seven. So there's zero long flashes and there's seven quick flashes. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. So the code is seven. So let's go ahead and see what seven is. I'll pop up the series of check engine light codes right now. So as you guys can see, number seven is throttle position sensor, which is exactly what we disconnected. The TPS. So what's wrong with the TPS? That the computer won't tell you or the, or the scanner won't tell you. It'll just tell you, hey, this sensor is faulty. That could be there's low voltage, too much voltage, the wire is short, um, it's shorted, or um, let me see, let me see what else. Uh, the sensor is going bad. There's oil on it, debris. It can be too many things, so many things. So that's up to you to find out what the problem is. But that's basically how you find or you check for codes on an OBD1 ECU or car that has uh, it's equipped with OBD1, whether it's the harness, ECU, etc., etc. Typically for Hondas and Acuras, if your year is 95 and older, you are going to have OBD1. Um, if your car is 96 and newer, chances are most probably that you're gonna have OVD2. Unless, I say probably because I'm not sure if you went ahead with an older swap and things of that nature. But if you just stock for stock, if you're 96 and newer, you're OVD2. If you're 95 and older, you're OVD1. Uh, which is why, like, let's say like on the EM1, I'm able to plug in the scanner and check for codes with that. I wouldn't have to do this for this. I wouldn't have to do this method for that car. But for this car, I have to do it uh, the little ingenuity way. So real quick, if we plug in the TPS back, the car should start. And if I put the pin back, it should be a solid check engine light. So let's see. The TPS, it's good to go. When you plug in the TPS, make sure you disconnect the battery to reset the computer, the ECU. So just go ahead and do that. And then you should be good. All right, so the pin is off. I could have left it under, it doesn't matter. But just so you guys can see that it's off. All right, let's see now. Perfect. I can turn it off now we know it's good um i can at least leave it on ignition i can go ahead and plug in the pin so that you guys can see that the check engine light should stay solid so let's go do that real quick all right i want you guys to see there when the check engine light turns on it should stay solid i'm gonna go ahead and put the safety pin on the connector right here stay solid solid look at that perfect baby once you're done, go ahead and just put this thing in a little socket here. And that's it. You need to bolt this thing back up into the wall here. It's been like that since I got the car. And that's basically it. That's how you check codes on a Honda Acura that's equipped with the OBD1. I can for sure tell you that valve card, it's not going to look like that for long. It's going to look pretty soon. You'll see. All right, guys, that was my gift from me to you. Hopefully, you guys found it useful and informational. Like I had mentioned, if your car is OBD1 equipped and it's currently running like crap, <clears throat> you guys are trying to figure out what sensors are going bad, and you're also trying to figure out um, what codes the car is throwing, that's how you find them. Um, obviously, if you're equipped with OBD2, then just go ahead and plug in the scanner and it'll give you the codes like that. Um, Christmas was yesterday, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it with family and friends. New Year's is coming, so let's go ahead and finish strong. Other than that, that's it for this video, guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care. All right, guys. Peace out.